I've had some great feedback on my YouTube channel, but the question I always get asked is, how do you do your thumbnails? People know I'm using ChatGPT with Dali, but what are the exact principles that go into each thumbnail and how do I make them successful? Now, while these are only a quick 30 second job in ChatGPT, they do use a lot of principles and fundamentals that I've learned from speaking to really top YouTube marketers at conferences, seeing them speak and talking to them personally. They've all done lots of testing into what makes the perfect thumbnail for the best results. Now I am going to be doing a series on my YouTube methodologies because obviously YouTube is a powerful search engine just as relevant to SEO as Google. And of course, there's lots of interplay between ranking videos on Google itself. YouTube has been absolutely fantastic for my agency in the last few months. My agency profits have absolutely rocketed thanks to YouTube. And so it's because of that that I'm going to be doing a comprehensive book and course on how you use YouTube to promote your service business. So this is going to go into YouTube SEO and ranking tactics, as well as more of the human psychology element in terms of how you build a list, how you actually sell your products, and how you can stack up multiple income streams on YouTube without being a sleazy salesman. Much more about delivering value, delivering quality, and then just selling to that one top 1% one who don't want to learn from you, but just want the done for you. All while having a significant impact to that other 99% where you're educating, inspiring, and overall just delivering great value. So the book itself is already up to 10,000 words. So how I became a YouTube sensation in three months. Uh, I'm overcoming some of the imposter syndrome in terms of how you actually go public, uh, the real money. So don't worry about ads and banners, things like that, or even affiliates, but focusing on your service business, finding your niche for that service business, the technical setup, how you avoid hesitation and just focus on implementation, the editing software so I can actually produce a video and edit it within about five minutes, volume and consistency. Remember that done is better than perfect. Perfection is the enemy of execution. So how you actually focus on volume, do a video every single day. And then we get into, of course, YouTube SEO and YouTube manipulation, how you reverse engineer that algorithm to make your video blow up. So we're already up to 10,000 words. This will be launching soon. So this will be a book plus a detailed video course. So to get on the list for when that launches, be sure to go to seojesus.com, click on the Ranking Revelations newsletter, and you can sign up absolutely free. I'll send you a load of resources in the welcome email, but you'll also be first in line when that course launches. It's not going to be available for long just because I am putting genuine value into this course. Uh, I don't want to make the space too competitive. So get on it while you can. So on the subject of YouTube thumbnails, when I first started, if we go a long way back, you can see some of the principles I was using. So from an SEO perspective, we want to include the keyword in the thumbnail. But before then, having spoken to experts, I was basically told you want a reaction shot, some sort of visual element, whether it's a graph or arrows, things like that. And then I have the title. So that's pretty much what I was doing in Canva. So you can see every time it has a face, title, and some kind of visual element. But like I say, always talking to people who are testing th these things out, and they actually came up with a new recipe, which I just plugged straight into ChatGPT, which is basically, you actually want a really large face. Large faces seem to perform better. So they were saying they will even cut off the top and bottom of someone's head in order to get the biggest possible face. And it's now less about the visual element and more about creating a kind of tension, creating a knowledge gap. You basically want to give the impression that this video contains some sort of secret that separates success from failure. So you really want to play with that tension. So once I was given this SOP, the set of criteria, what I did was basically tell ChatGPT, all my YouTube thumbnails must include an information gap, make the viewer question what happens next. So that's the exact advice I was given, make the viewer question what happens next. Trigger a negative emotion like panic, fear, etc. So this is pretty standard marketing. We're much more likely, we're more motivated by avoiding negative aspects rather than following positive aspects. So a thumbnail or a video, any sort of marketing is much more likely to succeed if you say, if you don't do this, you will fail or you're going to have some catastrophe if you don't do this. Whereas on the other hand, how you can achieve dream outcome, that works, but not as well as the politics of fear. So use that to your advantage and use a very big face to make it eye-catching. And of course, I need to tell ChatGPT to make it the right size for a YouTube thumbnail. So I basically set this up, uh, creating now a custom GPT. About the time I was just using ChatGPT, that works as well. Where basically I was copying my transcript from YouTube. So we can go on to any of these videos and you go to more and then show transcript. And then here, I simply copy the full transcript here and then give it to my ChatGPT prompt, which I've now put into uh, this YouTube engine custom GPT. And it will now give me headline ideas 
a description including chapters and a thumbnail. So this has massively sped up my pace of production. Obviously you probably noticed all my descriptions are a bit weird, they're not perfect, um, but overall does the job really well, but crucially makes that thumbnail really quick. I also include my main brand colour so that it knows to try and create. So this is all talk, let me do a live demonstration for you. So I have this video ready to go on WhatsApp automation, and you can see it's just exported from Descript. So I just had the title WhatsApp automation it says this is a video about WhatsApp automation and no thumbnail. So it's currently unlisted. So now we go on to the main video we click on more and then show transcript and then we just copy all this. Okay so we go to the SEO Jesus YouTube engine just paste in transcript and as with all things ChatGPT it works perfectly some of the time. So it's quite annoying it can come up with ideas for thumbnails sometimes but not actually give you the thumbnails so you do have to prompt it again and say okay you've told me what to do for the thumbnails now just do it but we've got the description, useful links, annoyingly it's put in the uh, anchor links rather than the full URL. You need the full URL for YouTube and I've also tweaked it to say give me the, the teaser text for the email to send out because again when you're promoting your videos by email you don't want to give away what's in the uh, what's in the video. You want to say here's how you achieve X through this very short video but click here to watch it to make sure people actually watch it rather than giving away too much and they say ah oh, I understand what you're doing there even though they probably don't understand the nuances and the subtleties of how exactly you're going to do it to achieve that dream outcome. So the email really needs to just say I'm going to tell you exactly how to achieve this massive dream outcome click here or fatal mistake to avoid click here. But the thumbnails come through really well so again it's using my brand image we've got the blue eyes and brown long hair. As I say this works really well for me because I'm slightly different and um, but in your case, you might be able to try and train it with details of what you look like. But equally, maybe you just want to overlay a photo over the top in Canva. So I'm happy with this. We've got big visual elements with WhatsApp. We've got the large face and the sense of some sort of knowledge gap, some sort of revelation. So I actually just screenshot these because the, the actual image is really, really big and high quality, which is actually too much for YouTube. So I just screenshot it and that makes it much easier to just upload it right away. And it's just right there in my desktop. So that's the thumbnail done. Now it does give me ideas for the titles, but I'm quite particular about titles because they need to achieve several things. They need to have that sort of journalistic hype about them. They need to be quite clickbaity. I also want them to be keyword optimized. So in this case, we're trying to target WhatsApp marketing automation, WhatsApp automation, WhatsApp API, and, and that's not mentioned anywhere in this title. But chapter is very important. So we can take all of these and the useful links here uh, haven't worked. So I'll just say, give me the full URLs for the useful links. But everything else is good to go. I'm going to go with my own title, WhatsApp Automation. Convert is too technical, we want to sell. So that's always a good formula. Dream outcome without pain point. So I'll continue to tweak that. Let's see if we've got the proper links now. And there we go. So that's a YouTube friendly version. And then that's all good to go. So basically a two minute job, copy the transcript, dump it into the automation and get instant thumbnail and description. All these criteria while also keeping it branded. Now in my case, I have the benefit of being slightly distinctive. Um, so I tell it what SEO Jesus actually looks like. So SEO Jesus had long brown hair, beard and blue eyes. So obviously that's not really an option for a lot of people. You can try giving it more of a physical description if you want to cartoon yourself. Uh, I had a great struggle with that when doing my podcast interview with James Dooley. So me, absolutely no problem at all. That's actually really lifelike and convincing. But getting Dooley to look accurate was really quite difficult. So if you look like more common people in society, then it can be a bit more challenging. So in that case, I'd probably use it in combination with Canva. You could just put your photograph right over the AI generated version in Canva, or you could upload a load of images of yourself into ChatGPT to train it on what you look like and give it an archetype basically. Say, this is what I look like. Now for all my future YouTube thumbnails, use that likeness. And if you want to stylize it in any way, you can. So if you want it more cartoony, if you want it more realistic, remember the aim of a thumbnail is not to be descriptive. It's to catch attention and provoke stop the scroll. So you probably notice certain Facebook ads tend to be 
a bit weird, like Mark Zuckerberg's face, but it's all wrong. Uh, those kind of tactics are quite powerful. So if you do want to create thumbnails that do, you know, maybe they're a photorealistic version of you, but not you, it just looks a bit unsettling, then that can be a good way to get more eyeballs on that video. And ultimately, that's what we're trying to achieve here. You don't have to give away really anything about what the YouTube video is about. You just want to get that attention sell some sort of information gap, some knowledge gap that's really crucial that makes the difference between success and failure and get people to click and watch that video. Also in my book and course, I go into great detail about how you actually get that watch time up, which is a massive ranking factor. So I really recommend those first 30 seconds, you do everything you can to keep that watch time up. So more details on that coming soon. In the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, anything else you want to know, let me know in the comments.